being a, a, a hip hop artist in this day and time, especially with the whole COVID situation, how have you how have you had to adjust doing your music and getting it out there? Uh, really, it, it really went that hard because nowadays it's the social media age, so you can just post something, and 10, 20,000 people can see it. So it really never went that much of adjustment. Do you think that because because of that accessibility that it kind of people artists I think artists kind of tend to just put out anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sort of figured you would agree to that one because I, I mean I I listen to a lot of stuff and you know I, I don't listen to regular radio anymore. You know what I'm saying? You know I'm more of a satellite guy now. You know. You know, I do a lot of YouTube. You know, I, I browse through a lot of things. You know, and you know when I when I when I hear music these days, I, I listen to it with a different ear. So you know, people think because I'm a little older, and I and I hear hip hop, you know, they don't think I have an ear for it until I break everything down for them. What they say, it's like, how you understand what they say? Like, yo, listen, I've been here in the beginning. So when you hear your, when you hear music, what inspires you? Now, who inspires you? What inspires you to be to be a better artist than the person that you're listening to? It is what they talking about. If they talking about something real, it don't, it don't matter what they talking about, like any genre. Like everybody go through heartbreaks. Everybody come through the struggle. So if it's real, that's what I gravitate towards and stuff. I'm like, I got a real story too. So that make me want to go to the studio ASAP and go record something. Like, so what's the name of the album? Uh, just keep stepping. Talk about it. Though. Big stable, okay. Well, we'll talk about it. Well, this is gonna be my first one, my first project I'm putting together. It ain't all the way finished yet. I still got a couple more songs to add, but it's just my basically my coming out party, my first impression. But it's just gonna be, you feel me, my best song, my best work, you feel me, and just me just stepping on every beat and just going. Freshman, the fresh, the freshman class. You feel what I'm saying? You know, do you think that you got enough bars to make the the, the devil XL? Freshman class of 2021. I mean, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're supposed to say hell yeah. So you got the mixtape, you got the clothing line, you about to get back into another clothing line, you got the label set up, you got fellas, you know, that are, are artists who, who are gravitating towards what you are trying to put together. <clears throat> Do you find sometimes even when you have a, a team like that, that it could be challenging in navigating the direction that you want the entire family to go in? I mean, sometimes we have disagreements and stuff, but we are brothers. So you feel me? Like, when we come together and we really talk about it, we know, like, you feel me? If I, if I got this idea, we know it's for the best for everybody. So pretty much we all much the one be. It don't really be no problem. Really. That's what's up. Now you know, the, you know the, the music industry can be a brutal animal, very brutal. And I'm not talking about all of the things that we hear about. Let's talk about all the things that we know. Artists that come in, they do break up, leave the foundation, things like that, all because they want to get out there on their own. And then they find that the game isn't, the grass ain't always green on the other side. If you ever encountered that, or have you ever encountered that, how how do you think you would deal with that? I mean, see, with us, it's not really like, we're not a rap group. Like, you feel me? Everybody already, they independent artists. So everybody mm -hmm. already free to do their own thing. It's just us supporting each other. You feel me? Like, Let's Get Rich is just the movement. That's kind of like a brand. That's what we're rolling with right now. You feel me? But like when stuff like that happened, I mean every damn before a reason. So you feel me? It could happen. You just move according. You just don't stop. You just like, I bet that's what you want to do. Just right? keep stepping. Right. <laughs> Bam. There you go. Just keep stepping. You feel me? Who of you in the city? Have you worked with many people so far? Not really. I just really just rap with my brothers. Yeah, uh, solo big ass. Pretty much it for real, for real. Okay, okay. And how does he feel that you know? You're now, but you're now really doing your own thing. I mean, shit, we both, I mean, he started a little bit before me, but he the one who got me rapping and shit. Like, I think I freestyled a couple of times, that's my high shit, you feel me? Like, you need to rap, like, you feel me? So, 
when I went out to college, it was like a little studio in there or whatever. And I just went around and messed with it, sent him a couple songs. He was like, yeah, this hard, I need to drop it. So I dropped it and I got a good reaction, you feel me? So that's why I just kept going with it. I'm like, I'm gonna take it serious. So you feel me? Like now that I'm going with it, like we really growing together, but we both just like proud of each other right now. You feel me? Right. Y'all pushing each other, you feel what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That's what's up. So what what do, what do you think about the the climate of hip hop today? Matter of fact, can you call the music that we're listening to today hip hop? I Me, mean, yeah. Okay. I feel like music is art. So everybody got their own version of it. You feel me? So somebody might make a song that's super simple, you feel me? But an artist might paint a picture that's super simple. But it's all about how you interpret it, you feel me? Like somebody somebody might see this painting like, oh, it's just damn apple. Like this person might you can put more meaning to it. It's like a song, you feel me? Like it's art. You think you think that the music industry has dumbed down the art form? I mean, kind of. There's a lot of people that just do it and they don't really take it serious. You feel me? And they just put anything out just to try to get some money or some attention. You feel me? But it's a lot of people that do take it serious. And you feel me? Like I like a lot of music as well. Who your favorite artists? Right now, I just to me and my brothers for real, for real. But I like a couple of dudes from the city. Like, no, who's your city. favorite artist? Like, who inspires right you? Now, I'm probably say Chief Keef. Okay, man. Yeah. I mean, you know, I say God bless. I, I say God bless the dead. You know why I say that about Chief Keef? Because his, his career the rose and died and rose and died again, and I just be wondering, when is this guy just going to say, you know what, I got the goods? And I just need to run with it. I think I think Chief Keep is like the AI of, of hip hop. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm just here, bro. Like, don't take, it don't take it serious. I'm just playing. You feel what I'm saying? But um, so when you when you look at when you look at your music, you feel me? When you look at your music, like you say, you really listen to yourself. What do you want your art? What do you want your listeners to take away from that? What do you want them to learn about about you? And shit, me personally, I make music for them. That's how I started out, just making music, sending it to them and stuff. So most of the stuff I'm talking about, the average person might not get what I'm saying, but they gonna get it. They gonna be like, oh yeah, I remember that. Like, you feel me? Like, I might be talking, some, talking about something I went through, but this is my brother, so he went through a similar situation. So he's feeling that, you feel me? But I'm really just making music for them. But other people can relate to it too. They come from similar situations too, you feel me? So. With the music that you put out, right? First project, freshman project. You putting, you believe you putting your all into this project, right? What if you don't receive the response that you're hoping for? Say, cause you know, you got, you know, you don't know, like there's a lot of yes people that may be around you. You feel me? But what if that 100% project that they, people say that you put 100% in, only get a 50% response from you? How would you feel about that? What do you think you have to do next? See, with me, I mean, I listen to the criticism and I take it and try to be better with it. With me, I don't really just put out music for views and stuff. Like, I don't care if it's time to get 100 views or 100,000 views. I'm still going to keep dropping it. Like, you feel me? So, to me, it really doesn't matter to me. I ain't really got no high expectation or no low expectation. Like, I know, personally, I like my music and I feel like it's good music. So, I'm just going to keep putting it out. But we're talking about music on a worldwide level. You feel me? Because I, I tell people all the time, if you're making music just for, to stay home, okay, make it out the basement, then I think, you know, your position is definitely valid. But I'm entitled to my opinion. But when you begin to make music on the world stage, for you to be performing in Turkey and Greece and things like that, and, you know, your money comes from around the world, you know, you don't want no U.S. platinum. You want to get that world platinum, that right. quadruple drupal. You feel what I'm saying? Then you play them big arenas. What if it's not received the way that it was hyped up to be? What would you do then? You gotta go back to the drawing board. You gotta see what went wrong, and then come back next game. You gotta go foot on the gas. You gotta keep going, though. Like I like. I don't really dream on being the biggest rap star or the richest person in the world, right. you feel me? But I know with rap, I can get that platform to make stuff happen and make 
stuff better around me and for people around me. Mm. So you're basically in the game for who? Me and my family. You feel me? Right. And people like us. Gotcha. 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 So, what would you say to your younger self? How old are you now? 21. 21. Jeez. Four scores seven years ago. I remember when I was 21. But um, at 21, you probably don't seen a lot at 21. You did college for a year or so, got a chance to go away, seen the work that it took to stay there. But something didn't sit right within you. I'm like, yo, I don't think I'm really meant to be here. Brought you home. You, you know, the music was happening in, in, in your spirit. Everything was happening in your spirit. He was like, yo, I'm gonna bring this out of me. At 21, from 20, from 18 to 21, what valuable lessons you think you've learned in that time? Because it's easy to bring you back to, to, to 16. That's easy to say. You know, because that's where all the big mistakes, the little mistakes take place. But now, this is where any mistake that you make is 95. You know what I'm saying? Everything is seen with it. You feel me? So from 18 to 21, what important and valuable lessons you say you learn about you? I mean, probably how, how tough I am when it comes to overcoming adversity. Like a lot of stuff was thrown my way, but I just kept going. You feel me? That's where the name of the take come from. Just keep stepping. Like no matter what, like you just keep going. And I got to do with my clothing brand too, pain. Like you be proud of what you went through, like you overcome it. Like battle scars, you feel me? So that's one valuable lesson. And then seeing the bigger picture. So you feel me, when college not working out and stuff, I'm kind of like, all right, what I'm going to do? Felt like that was God redirecting me. Cause like just with college, that was more just me bettering myself. You feel me? But with rap and music and his label and his clothing brand, and I can bring my brothers in and I get, we can all get better together as far as being young black entrepreneur and just making music, you feel me? Really just stay focused and, and like I said before, anything I do is for the better of all of us, you feel me? And that sometimes I gotta do certain stuff and you might feel a type of way about it, but it's not me, don't take it personal, it's just what I gotta do. Like a couple of guys, they wanted to be here too, but you not finna walk in here 30 deep. It's just the same way you gotta move, you feel me? Like this is a business and you gotta be professional. So you feel me, it's just certain stuff I gotta do, but you just gotta understand that it's just certain stuff that gotta happen. Mm -hmm. And yeah, let's get ready.